Hello everyone, I'm Herr Mocha Lover, joined here with my cat, Herr Binky. I hope you're all having a great day. Last time, we overthrew the big bad guy who was the leader, and we are ha currently have August von Mackensen leading us currently, because we are merely but a military junta right now. So, I am currently training some ships because they need some ships training, some training for my ships, and we are just currently waiting to continue with our focuses so that we may become a great leader in the world once again. So, the German Civil War ends. The Civil War that has racked Germany has now come to an end. The fighting was extraordinarily intense, with fanatical resistance by the ends causing devastation on a scale rem reminiscent of the Great War. It appears that uh, Mr. H is dead, and the N leadership imprisoned or executed. The provisional government has now announced that it is necessary to secure their hold over the state and ensure the return of stability to the nation before there can be any thought of embarking on a process of constitutional reforms. Let the rebuilding begin. So, the N leadership ca captured us. At long last, we have freed our country from the grip of our enemies and construction too, as well as those loyal citizens who rose up to support our cause may now finally return to their homes. As a nation, though, we may begin the long and arduous process of rebuilding our nation. The country's leadership, in turn, is free to begin looking ahead at what might come in the future, democracy or maybe a return to the old monarchy. One thing remains, though, to be taken care of, however. With the end of the Civil War, our troops have managed to capture a large number of the N leadership. Now there only remains the decision of what to do with this unsavory part of our recent history. So, while we didn't go to war with anybody except them, they haven't done anything bad except unless you actually read the newspapers. But, uh, you know, I mean, you never know if you might need them. We, we could either hang them, and we lose our army, uh, we get more stability, or we imprison them for life. We could use them in the future, you know? Maybe they can be changed. I hear maybe in Sweden they like to rehabilitate people. They might be able to be re rehabilitated. You never know. And we could use a political power for now, so... We shall imprison them for life, and teach them the errors of their ways. Ah, oh, let's see. It's 1937. We have tech to research. We are a little bit behind what we really want to do, because we've had issues early on. That's okay, though. Let us go with superior firepower. We are one army XP away from getting delay, of course. But we've got a little bit of political power. Let's let time go on. We have Halmar Jacques. Interesting. Now, we could use more political power, but something tells me that we have to be a certain ideology to get that. Okay, nonetheless, whatever. Um, I could do arms organizer. That's not really worth it. Uh, we already have shock. Really, that's pretty much all I want. We could do Hans Oster to get more stability, which, be, which would be nice, but I'm thinking let's go ahead and get a little bit more... Blitzkrieg Theorist. I think Land Doctrine and Army XP is good. You never know what might happen. Besides, we may have to go on the offensive at some point within our lives to ensure that all of Europe becomes democratic. For right now, even the Spanish are not having a good time. Um, we don't necessarily like the fascists, but then again, we don't necessarily like these commies either. Whoever wins, you know, wins, and we might have to democratize them in the end. Now, France, what are you up to? Our big neighbor, France, not really up to anything. Italy? They might be a potential threat someday. Austria. They are thinking they might become a little bit of a threat as well. We do not know what they're thinking right now, though. The UK, air defense, did they go with reinforce the empire? Of course. Of course. But, let us do another research slot, which is great to help us capture or get up to levels that we missed before. So, let's focus a little bit more on our naval stuff. So, in a campaign that I have done at the close to the same time this campaign is coming out, I want to be a little bit different. So, instead, I'm going to focus immediately on super heavy battleship hulls. Uh, let us go with another nationalist focus. So, Secure the new state. In light of the civil war that formed it, the provisional government lacks strength. We must ensure that it is secured and cannot be easily overthrown, which we get some more stability and political power, which sounds very nice. The Polish-Romanian alliance renewed a commitment to each other's defenses. 
Um, today's announcements, announcements indicates that a policy of mutual defense is increasingly dominating military planning in both in Poland and Romania. Well, I hope you are achieving democratic values in Poland and Romania. 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 Investing in the old Polish region. What? Ah, we have the Olympics! Very good. And they were doing it for us. The games, a symbol of renewed German national unity, was also a significant propaganda victory for the new German regime. Despite the tremendous cost of the rebuilding the nation after the Civil War, spent lavishly on the event. Uh, okay, so we won 33 gold medals. And then the Americans won 24, and four of these were won by Jesse Owens. Cool. Uh, we don't know which way they... Oh, they're going with Poland first. Okay. Well. Interesting. Interesting choice. I hope you're becoming very democratic. I would hate for us to find out that you want to go to war with us. Oh, no! The Hindenburg disaster! The, our German passenger airship, the Hindenburg, was destroyed today while attempting to dock at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the U.S. for reasons not yet determined. The airship was engulfed in flames and crashed to the ground, claiming 35 lives. Due to the scarcity and expense of or yeah, expense of helium and the U.S. ban on exporting it, the Hindenburg, like all German passenger airships, was ultimately engineered to use hydrogen, which provides greater lift. And the story ended there because the newspaper ran out of money, so I could could so I could not continue reading it. Oh, how unfortunate! Well, looks like the Nationalists they made a little stretch here again. It looks like they're getting beaten back. Oh, Spain! This is before. La Resistance DLC is out. I can't wait for that DLC. Yeah, I'm going to say that National Spain isn't going to win this one. But maybe they will. Who knows? Ooh. These Panzer Divisions. What's on them? Not good. I forgot. We have a massive stockpile of stuff. So let's go ahead and throw on some more motorized infantry. Uh, for now, throw on those light tanks. I might research heavy tanks later on. I might do that. Just be a little bit different. Uh, yeah, give me a lot of you bad boys. Just give me all, give me as many as you guys got. I'm going to need a big army to make sure we democratize the area. Go ahead and repair if you need it. Ah, uh, having some of my German coffee. My Deutsche Kaffee. Very nice. Work uh, conditions. Amelia Earhart disappears. Improved machine tools. Very nice. Very nice. Excavation. Refineries. Rubber. Well... Oil is always nice. Oil is always very, very nice. We can... A lot of stuff like there. Hmm. Base strike. I don't think I've done base strike too often. I might go with base strike eventually, but let's keep going with more ships. And if we want to do base strike, really, we're going to need some carriers. And we're going to need to focus more on our ports. So, what are we building? That's not good enough. That, no, 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 no. We're going to need to build a lot of this. A lot of this. Lots and lots of this. Uh, we only have 105 factories in total, so... Oh, Brandenburg. Oh, the infrastructure is so bad. Oh. Go ahead and do that. Raise you to the top. All this... Honestly, all this stuff gets repaired eventually. Is it that laggy? I can't scroll down or something, or... Okay, I can't scroll all the way down for some reason. Oh, well. Um, good. We need more guns. We need more support equipment. We're producing some planes, some tactical bombers. We secure the new state. Which is good. We can do a treaty with the USSR. Hmm. Sounds promising. So, we want to create a united Europe. So we must re-establish free elections. We will make a return to the democratic ideals by re-installing or reinstating free elections to be held at a point in the near future. I love it when a plan comes together. Uh, daily democracy support. That looks like a great guy to get in it in the end. Netherlands continues. Zuider Z works. Large scale land reclamation project has been taken undertaken in the Netherlands, continuing a series of much projects of such projects known collectively as the Zuider Z works. The closing of the Isselmeer? Hmm. With the oh, holy cow, what type of name is that? Alfsluit Ditch Reclamation of the Weineren Gmir and the Nurdutspolder. Focus on the reclamation of the Flevopolder, largest area to be reclaimed from the sea. It takes many years. Draining has proceeded enough that smaller areas are now already accessible, and the benefits to Dutch industry are palpable. Interesting. Very interesting. Good job. Let's go ahead and get some plus 15% to naval research. Yeah, let's do that. I could really use that, and I want to save some political power when we become democratic. 
to uh, get a minister to. And as you can tell, our armies are very, very small. So, you, good job, guys, so far, Henry Chief. You are more of an infantry guy, so I'm going to send you this way. Uh, no, give me that tank division. Von Klug. Von, good old Von Klug. And who shall lead? Ah, oh, dispersed industry, good. Munstein, no. Oh, okay, well, yeah, let's just Munstein. Good stuff. Naval stuff. Death charges. Sure. Oh, almost let it go uh, over there. Let's get some death charges for destroyers that I probably will actually never make. Hmm. I want more light cruisers. Yeah, I don't think I need to do or improve worker conditions. We could do anti-fascist raids. Or we could do anti-democratic, anti-communist raids. Well, we're already getting fascism going down. If we could do less stuff from August von Mackensen, that'd be great. 19%. Let's clamp down on communism, if possible. Anti-communist raids. Ban communism. I don't want to just ban it. That's going to hurt my stability. We're going to ban communism. Because communists or communism is anti-democratic. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, active sonar. We're doing this. We're doing that. Planes. How about planes? I could use some carrier planes, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to need some of that. We got some more infantry. Good, good, good. Give me as many boys as possible. I probably won't need you, mountaineers. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to save the cavalry for later, maybe. Or maybe not. Let's see what happens. Ah, a super heavy battleship hull. Uh, take a quick look at tanks. We can make gross tractors. Right now I'm making light panzers. So the gross tractor is on the right. Uh, same breakthrough. Hmm. Look, slightly less soft attack. Way less speed. A little bit more piercing. Way more fuel usage. Higher production cost. Way more armor. Way more armor. Double the soft attack. Good, Very good amount of hardness, but defense is okay. So tiger tanks compared to their medium counterparts. The Tiger Tank, the heavy one, is on the right. In the end, armor. A little bit more armor. Way more production cost. Fuel usage is a, a good, significant higher number. Piercing is much better. Max speed isn't terrible. They're, these aren't fast. Soft attack is about the same. Breakthrough is just about the same. Wow. That's really not worth it, to be honest with you. King Tiger, Panzers... 66, 67, 91, way more piercing, armor, just so much more armor, but the production cost is so much. You know what, I want to be a little bit different, so when we get to 1941, I'm going to research Tiger Tanks. I'll do that, why not? Let's be a little bit different, right? Uh, active sonar, sure, yeah, sonar sounds good to me. And we do have 51 political power, or naval XP, I should say. Super heavy battleships. Uh, we better start producing some of these because it's going to take some serious time before we can actually make these bad boys. Oh, we need uh, that. We need a level 2, which is generally good enough. Fire control 0 is pretty good. Super heavy armor is pretty good. Secondary batteries. Level 2 engine for now. No radar, which isn't ideal. Uh, let's get some that. Let's get some... One thing of anti-air, and one thing of double secondaries. Let's get some more cannons. I think we'll be okay without more cannons. Get more anti-air. I'm expecting a lot of resistance from air power. That's all the naval XP we have for now. And what did I want to check out? Yeah, what did I want to... Oh, radar. Are we doing... We're not doing radar. I will produce that as soon as we can get some... Radar, at least radar level ones. I really, really want radar level ones on those battleships. Seeing as they take so long to produce that I might as well wait to get even better radar. Uh, do we need more army XP? Not really, to be honest with you. Not really. Infantry divisions, they're 20 combat width with just guns. That's not great. That's really not great. Oh, another Panzer Division. Well, light tanks are going to have to be my good tank divisions until we can make more and more and more stuff. Guns are okay. They'll come on naturally. You guys do that. You know what? Come up and make a full line. 
Full line on that. That's good. Get a full line over here as well. Cut you down to 10, which isn't good really to do, but whatever. Um, these guys are finishing up. We've got some heavy ships, some capital ships. That's good. Ah, Baltic cooperation. There's no outcome for us. It is not yet does not risk yet more oppression of the Polish people. Following Poland's distancing from the international community, Polish politicians have been pursuing the idea of a power between the seas. While the hope is to create an alliance stretching from the Baltic to the Black Sea, their stated priority remains to reinforce their position against threatening influences to the both East and the West, like Czechoslovakia. I'm a democracy, or try to become dem democratic. To this end, Poland is seeking stronger, closer ties with their neighbors in the Baltic. Interesting, but in the meantime, we must become more and more democratic. So, because we can't do that, we could do this, get way more consumer goods. Or, I could do a treaty with the USSR. Next, oh wait, so maybe I have to go with Panzer Threes. Uh, no, I'm not doing it, no. I'm going to not do that. I could align these guys. Let's go ahead, and that's not really worth it. I want to align Hungary in them but to become more democratic later on. So, if I do this, I get a bonus to armor technology, which doesn't matter since I'm waiting for heavy tanks anyways. Army innovations, double bonus for land doctrine. We'll do that eventually. Panzer V, Panther. Panzer III, IV, V, and Sonderkraft Fahrzeug. All right, let's be very specific here. So Panzer III, IV, Panther V. That's Panzer IV, where's Panzer V? Why? Uh, I can't get any bonus to my heavy boys? Why? Why? Why must you do this to me? Whatever, let's do rebuilding the nation then. After the ravages of the Civil War, we must look to rebuilding our nation. We will ask the people to set aside their personal comforts for a time so that we may focus all of our resources on attaining this goal. Alright. So we will become more and more democratic. I could do the anti-fascist agent, but... Hmm. In the meantime... Oh, Kurt Schumacher. This would make us more democratic quicker so we can get to the next focus. I don't mind doing that then. Ah, oh, good German coffee. We still have Bitter Loser. Hmm, alright. Of course, we have the General Staff, which is very good. Mexico is on fire. Okay. No, oh, the Republican communists in Spain are not having are having a good time now. That seeming like they're winning. And oh, good old Mexico. Good old Mexico. Oh, let's do mobile defense. Nothing says democracy like defending yourself. Hmm. I really want to see when France is going to do anything special. Okay, so you want to reverse or revise Versailles. Hmm. Will they go left or will they go right? It's too bad they didn't go support the status quo and go with Britain, but... C'est la vie. Such is life. Motion of no confidence. Said as she goes. Motion of no confidence. No further appeasement. Imperial integrity. Enforce the naval treaties. Maintaining balance of law. Oh. oh. Excuse me. Thank you. I will take my divisions and have a good day with them. Is this historical? Every man will do his duty. I think this is should be fairly historical, maybe. Ah, uh, deck conversions. Glorious. Are we doing radar? It's 127 days. I really want radar so we can start building that ship as fast as possible. But now we have planes, carrier planes, when we build carriers someday. Um, naval bombers, yep, yeah, you might as well do that too. Active sonar, glorious. We can wait on the smoke generators, they're not really important, they just get applied naturally. So, carrier holes. Carrier holes. No new ships yet, you guys are taking forever. I'll set one aside for carrier fighters. How about that? There you go. Because I don't need that many. I won't need that many. Uh, fighters, tactical bombers, infantry, artillery is looking pretty good. Not too bad. Alright. But I must emphasize some sort of tank equipment before I throw in a lot of artillery on here. You guys come up here. Even though they're only the light tanks, they can still do a pretty good job. 
you know, we still have old sentiments of reclaiming Danzig or oh, I forget what it was in actually German Poznan. I'll say that for now. Maybe Lutz. We have old sentiments, including getting Katowice. But some things, sometimes things have to wait. How about? Ooh, okay. Italy is being very aggressive. We don't like that. How about we new and better? Oh, yeah, I'll see this one. A new and better Germany. While we are rebuilding our nation, we should aim to go above and beyond what is necessary, so that what we build will now stand the test of time. Give me that building power. Democracy should be able to build, build. Okay, okay Japan, China. All right then. I want buildings. I want big buildings. You have not enough civilian stuff to build. I want, like, build skyscrapers, big things like that. Good. Just keep building that. We're going to need a lot of that. Japan, you are so very aggressive. The Marco Br Polo Bridge Incident. Strategic Chinese and Japanese forces have skirmished inconclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge. China has rejected Japan's demands and demands for an apology. Oh. Diplomats fear that the volatile situation could result in war at any time. Can I send anyone volunteers? I am a democracy. I don't believe I can. can I? No. Ooh. Ooh! Actually, this could be very useful. I can give them... We could get 20% of their army XP and we get more war support? Yeah. Yeah. That's one, that's one heck of a way to do stuff there, I guess. Um... Where are y'all at? Give me you two. There you go. Japan issues diplomatic protest. Japanese envoys have lodged a strong diplomatic protest with our government regarding the presence of our attaches in nations where they are currently in a military conflict with. They demand the immediate recall of our military mission. Well, you're being the aggressor. It's a reasonable request. Go, go suck a fat one. Why do I get? Why do I get stability hit? If anything, you should have a stability hit, not me. I'm just trying to be the peaceful, democratic person here under Mr. Hat. Mr. Uh, August Hat. Look at what you cost me, man. That's a lot of divisions. Are they... Who's killing each other here first? Oh, anyways. Uh, fan Prussian militarism. To replace the losses of our civil war, we must appeal to the Prussian sense of militarism to improve re recruitment and training of new recruits. That our military has freed us from N dictatorship ensures these Prussian ideals are... Now, more popular than ever. And happy 1938, my friends. Uh, it'll be a good year for democracy, I hope. It should be. We don't need this garbage, though. I can't wait to throw more stuff on you. If I do this, even more improved planes. We get more self detection and a little bit more surface detection. Lose a little bit of speed, but if I throw on these super heavy things, our speed goes way down. I think 55.2 attack is good enough. That's not bad. Anti-air. We still get lower by a little bit, which I don't like. Secondary guns, it'll lower us even further. That's not good. But it's 1938. We're doing radar. Good, good, good. Let's get some more research speed. Yeah, I really don't want to hurt my speed too much. If anything, secondary batteries, they're okay. They just give you more light attack. Ooh, a pretty good amount of armor. To be frank with you, you know what? Let's just go ahead and anti-air. You know what? Anti-air. I could get more surface detection, but I'm going to go with anti-air because we're going to get the crud bombed out of us eventually with those guys. So, you're so bad. Just give me torpedo twos then. That'd be fine. Ah, good. Nice. We could get heavy fighters. I'm not interested in doing that though right now. Artillery, it's 1938, so let's go do some MG34 and 5cm Granite Werfer 36. We're going to need more guns. That's a lot. That's not a lot of manpower. That's really not a lot of manpower. Come on, militarism, help me. And you guys formed an alliance, perhaps? With Lithuania, and you're guaranteed by Romania. Oh, you're guaranteeing a lot of people. Holy cow. France is... Okay, they've made a decision to go a different direction. Did you, like, pick up Mr. H after the war, our war ended? The right ascendant in France. Following close to two decades of political turmoil, the people of France 
feel they have yet to, to regain what was lost in the Great War. You got all Saint Lorraine back! The French establishment have set their sights on reconstructing the French state and reestablish the French greatness. These political reforms are strengthening the power of the state and the army with the French people convinced by Edouard Daladier's promises of greatness. I butchered his name. Sorry. Bulwark against Bolshevism. I'm not going to do that until I do the other focus. So let's do the mon Monarchy Compromise. The military that fought for our freedom from Nazi, Nazi N-word tyranny has clear royalist leanings. To ensure their satisfaction with the path the nation is taking, we must make a compromise and allow the return of the monarchy. Good, and we get a little more stability. Actually, quite a bit more stability. Yeah, you didn't hear me say any sort of N-word. No, God, no. Not that N-word. Or that other one. Jeez, come on, guys. Come on. Cool. Oh, we actually have a destroyer. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and start training. Repairing. Ah, oh, carrier's good. Hmm... Pretty good on all this stuff. Let's go ahead and get this get underway. When in, we can in time, start building this up. Uh, get the deck armor, just in case. A little bit of armor. Hangar space. Hangar space. Anti-air 2. Come on, when's the radar going to be done? Come on, guys. We have German engineering. German science. It should be good enough, right? 15 days. Oh, my goodness. We can only get 0.371 a day for that stuff. You can make some decisions. Eh, not really worth it, to be honest with you. Not really worth it. Cool. Air XP. Oh, our attack is in China. Okay. Give us 20% of the military experience. Oh, maybe they got a little bit from... Maybe they got a little bit of naval experience, too. You never know. 1938 stuff. Is there something special I need to research in 1938? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not really thinking so. So... Rubber, refineries, excavation. Hmm. Do that. Which means now I can do this... Throw on at least level 1 radar. That would be glorious if you could. Thank you very much. Please come to Vessar M's. And then now thank you very much for these super heavy battleships. Which actually I am going to prioritize over everyone else. Because I am a sucker for these bad boys. I want to make these a little bit faster. I really don't have that many screens in my uh, military. Or my navy really. Cool. Oh we are getting a little bit. Well we're getting more from our naval exercises. I want to know how much we get from this from China. Oh! Nice! Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and start building up some military factories. You never know what may occur in the next coming, next few years. Uh, 60%. Is that all I've got? Are you kidding me, man? So I don't want to ruin that. I'll take a hand over. We'll do that as well. Put you guys at the bottom. Um, keep building, building, building. I'll make some refineries soon enough. Ah, another Panzer Division. And you are 20 combat width, which isn't bad. The armor isn't great. And soon enough, the enemy will be able to pierce that armor. We have just shy of a million manpower, which is okay. National revitalization, which isn't bad. Helps us build more infrastructure, construction speed. And by the end of the year, we will have rebuilding the nation over, which is not good. But, yeah, it's expected, of course. Just build, 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 create, create, create. And that includes babies. And of course, you always go into great support. Do that. Thank you very much. Oh, another destroyer. Just kind of slowly watching what... How China is doing. Thank you for the... Army XP, China. I am... Not happy for your soldiers. Oh, that's not good for them. That's not good. Are we democratic yet? Yes, we are. The Monarchy Compromise, and there is our Time Magazine's Man of the Year. Maybe not in 1938, but our Man of the Year all year, every year. Conrad Adunauer. I always mess his name up. Let us reverse the brain drain next. Now that the oppressors and authoritarian regimes have been vanquished, we can attempt making it attractive for those scientists who fled the country to return and once more work in their homeland. I think so. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Weird. Cool. 
Realize European unity. We must control all of the Netherlands, the Belgians, the French, and the Italian to become great again. By installing democratic values, of course. And because we went Zentrum, I shall also go with a perhaps a liberal journalist to get a little bit more political power, or Julius Leber, a connected citizen. Huh. Media mogul. Ah, oh, as a monarchist. Well, we, while we don't hate monarchists, they are not necessarily for democracy, and that's what we are really pulling for. But look at that flag. That is a funny flag. Machuco issues diplomatic protest. Go suck a fat one, Machuco. You're aggressors. You don't like democracy. You no bueno, as some would say. Nicht gut. Oh, man. The more fighting they do, the more army XP I get. And the weaker they both become. But we must watch out for France. They are choosing the path of extreme aggression. You never know what might, what they might do. Uh, 1938. What do I do with you? Forever? Sure. Good worker conditions. Institute press censorship. You know what? Nothing says democracy like press censorship. Can I choose someone else first, though? You know what? I shall get the liberal journalist first. Just for 5% more political power. And then I will institute censorship so that everyone... Can only believe in democracy. Oh, and there goes National Spain. End of the Spanish Civil War. Uh, Mex oh, Mexico's still on fire. They haven't ended their civil war yet either. Oh, or yet. War plant orange. What is the good democratic nation of the United States doing? They are remaining neutral in pretty much everything they do. Interesting. Very interesting. Italy, how are you doing? You are forced to go one direction so far. Uh, Yugoslavia, what are you up to? Domestic artillery production. Ah, friendship with Italy. It doesn't seem like they've gone too far down here yet. Let's go ahead and go do some more research. 1938, of course. I've kind of ignored my air for now. If I take too long, I guess we'll get some excavation too. Very nice. Very good. Um, let's see. We finally have a few carrier fighters, a few carrier naval bombers, maybe a few tactical bombers and fighters. We just need a lot more guns. Ah, oh, another screen. Good. Good, good, good. Go ahead and repair, my good fellow. Reversed the brain drain. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Ah, so we must do the Great Red Menace, but before I do that, and of course, Bulwark against Bolshevism, I would love to have this one, but we cannot do that, I believe. So, let's go ahead, before we do that, let's have a treaty with the USSR, if possible. There it is. So, we can pursue a new research treaty with the U USSR in order to develop, chiefly, better tanks. If they agree, we can reopen the tank school we closed down in Kama in 1933. Soviet cooperation will, of course, mean that they, too, will benefit from the innovations made. Which is not really a problem if you know how to contain them. If they, too, believe in democracy. But in time, Hungary is becoming aggressive. Okay. Well, in time, they might not become super, super aggressive for the way we know how to maneuver our focus on them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oil processing, all right. I like it. Conversion times. Fire control, never do that. Never, ever do that. Um, operational integrity. Sure, I've got the, I got the research slot for it. Some people think that America or the United States has a lot of research, but so does democratic Germany. A truly great, one of the best places to live. Peaceful, democracy-loving, under Konrad Adun Adenauer. I know, I, I can't pronounce his name, but he's a great man regardless. So, one quick last look. 11 days, 10 days until we get computing machine. We are a third of the way through the treaty with the USSR, but that's pretty much all the time for that we have today, guys. China's on fire. We have reestablished ourselves as a democratic 
Republic called Germany. Not Weimar Germany. That wasn't very successful, but just Germany. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, perhaps maybe leave a like, subscribe, maybe if you're new. If you're interested, check out my Discord link below. But anyways, I hope you guys had a great time with my video. And if you did, I hope to see you tomorrow. And I hope you currently have a great, great rest of your day.